Well, as the dust settles from the election results, let's take a look at the market reaction with Diana Avdor. She's a portfolio manager and head of trading at Barometer Capital Management. Diana, uh, good to be with you. Thanks for Hi, joining Diana. us. Hi. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Um, I'm, I'm sure you were watching this all last night. Had to kind of get your thoughts in order in terms of what you might want to trade or not trade today. What are you thinking? So many moving parts, Catherine, and such a such a special uh, day for Canada. So many big changes. Um, you know, um, the jury is out um, on the Liberal election um, in both ways. <clears throat> Number one, you see the market is liking it, and it's liking it on all levels. Uh, the Canadian dollar, if it was surprising to some that they didn't wake up to a weaker Canadian dollar, well, there's uh, all kinds of uh, uh, thoughts how uh, uh, more spending, um, will uh, increase yields um, and, uh, and, and spur the economic growth. And you've seen these infrastructure stocks, but it's also beneficial for banks and higher yield uh, uh, bond yields is beneficial for insurcos. And, um, you know, um, uh, with a softer uh, feeling that there could be more uh, new incumbents on the, in the telco sectors, uh, you, you see the, 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 tel the Bell and Rogers, um, the telco stocks are also uh, rallying, um, uh, moving up and uh, several days ago making new highs. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, the, the, the fundamentals have been uh, ingrained before the election. And I think that the global um, uh, moving parts are affecting our stocks um, a little more than just the election. Hmm, I, I would agree. I mean, that's that's kind of the way our our financial systems seem to work these days. We're so interconnected, much more so today than we were eight years ago. We so all true. learned that through the financial crisis. Uh, but true. let's talk a little bit about these Canadian banks and in terms of how this majority government, from what I'm hearing from you, is going to help the Canadian banks or at least give another reason to buy into them. Uh, well, you know, just just fundamentally, uh, a higher yield environment together with better economic growth. Um, uh, would 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 benefit the banks uh, on on both levels, um, also uh, uh, in, in their NIMS and also from better um, activity, more loan growth, uh, you know, uh, uh, just just the consumer side of it. Um, in terms of a, a Canadian, I think the Canadian dollar is a, is an important theme here and how it's going to be playing out because um, it, there's two sides to to that: is the commodity trade. Vis-a-vis, uh, -vis, um, uh, do we want a weaker um, Canadian currency in order to spur our exports, and and which will also uh, create economic growth, and it will offset any weakness in the energy sector, and and I think that that is so fundamental to us uh, because commodity is uh, the Canadian market and economy very very important, hmm. and so um, you know on the one side. Um, you know, all developed markets have had QE. U.S. had had uh, quantitative easing, Europe, Japan, China. Canada did not have. Um, our currency has weakened, but we were held up by the global commodity trade, which is not there now. Um, and as exports to the U.S. being our main partner, over the last 15 years, we've lost in market share. HSBC put out a note saying that we were at 15 percent of U.S. Uh, imports, and uh, we were at 20, and now we're at 15. So if U.S. is what's growing us out or pulling us out ever so slowly of a global um, a slow, slow growth uh, GDP, we need to increase our competitiveness and maybe a Canadian dollar will spur, spur that as well. So we have those balances. Hmm. Um, in, in terms of maybe new positions that you are looking to put on, I, I'm really wondering, because I don't think that a lot of people are necessarily looking at the infrastructure plays as, as strong, clearly as strongly as they are today. Um, are you kind of putting, you and your team putting pen to paper and saying, hmm, you know, maybe this makes sense. I know we don't know exactly what it's going to look like or what all of this will mean to the bottom line for some of these companies like a Stantec and an SNC, but you know, maybe it's really kind of worth doing some homework on. Absolutely worth doing some homework on for sure. We're still more exposed to the U.S. market and we have been vo vocal about it. Yeah. Uh, we've spoken about this and um, uh, we've, we've put some money, um, uh, we're about 70 percent U.S. Um, you know, for, for Canada, certainly uh, these infrastructure plays um, and especially those that have more um, uh, foreign profits or revenues um, uh, would be would be one some of the metrics that we want to look at. But Barometer works in a very disciplined fashion, and when we uh, filter the stock markets for stocks that we might look at, we always roll out um, relative strength. So, for example, we talked uh, about biotechs in the past. 
as they've been losing relative strength. Those through our stop loss momentum roll, uh, you think of it as a heat map. Um, we won't catch the top, but we will not be uh, holding on to weak positions for a long time before we got stopped out. So on the flip side, when we move in, um, they have to do some uh, price work and uh, and uh, as we look at it, so it goes in tandem uh, mm -hmm. uh, together. So we'll I, take a look. Diana, we only have about 30 seconds left, but I have to ask you, what, what's the chatter between you and your colleagues uh, at uh, different buy side firms, sell side firms in the United States about uh, our elections? <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, um, when when uh, when I uh, the first the first note I got from a U.S. trader was uh, Canadians have elected a majority liberal government and have said no to austerity. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> so we were laughing around the table, saying, "Okay, uh, we didn't know this was austerity." But that that you know, clearly um, there's been the feeling that uh, you know, um, Bay Street, Wall Street don't don't uh, prefer. Um, liberal governments or democratic governments and so forth. But, um, you know, um, spending and economic growth, obviously, um, the surprise, the worst case scenario did not happen. Um, th the fact that they're a majority government is actually considered a good thing. Right. And so you're seeing the stock market liking it, and mm -hmm. you see the Canadian dollar liking it. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing anybody saying this is bad for us. Right. The change is not negative. All right, Diana, good to speak with you. Thank you. Thanks, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bye -bye. Talk to you later.